Are we living in a simulation? A world designed, programmed, controlled by something beyond our understanding. Millions of people, including leading scientists and philosophers, believe it's not just possible, but likely. And if that is true, then everything we see, everything we touch, everything we feel may be part of a generated reality. But how do we know? What evidence do we even have? And what would it mean for our lives? Tonight, we dive deeper than ever before into physics, consciousness, ancient beliefs, and real stories that make this mystery impossible to ignore. Some mysteries whisper, but this one, this one echoes through the entire universe. Welcome to the unknown, where questions never end and no answer is final. This is Enjoyable Doc. The first question is simple. Why does the universe behave like code? When scientists study the deepest layers of reality, they don't find chaos. They find rules, patterns, limits, like someone installed a framework beneath existence. Space isn't smooth. It's pixelated, broken into the smallest measurable pieces. Time doesn't flow infinitely. It jumps frame by frame like a cosmic animation. The speed of light acts like a hard limit as if our universe has a maximum processing speed. And the equations that shape the cosmos look less like natural laws and more like programming. It's as if reality is running on something, but even more mysterious is what's missing. For all its complexity, the universe behaves too perfectly. The laws of physics are insanely precise, fine-tuned down to impossible decimals. If one constant changed by even one in a trillion, stars wouldn't form, atoms wouldn't bind, life wouldn't exist. It's almost as if someone calibrated everything intentionally. Some say this is proof of a designer. Others say it's proof of a simulation. But what if it's both? To understand that possibility, we look toward the future. Imagine a civilization, human or something else, thousands of years more advanced than us. Imagine their computers capable of simulating entire universes, galaxies, ecosystems, civilizations, conscious beings, living lives they believe are real. In that future, running a universe simulation may be no harder than running a video game today. And here's the terrifying part. If future civilizations can simulate universes, and if they choose to run many simulations, then statistically, we are almost certainly inside one. There would be one base reality, but potentially billions of simulated ones. So where do you think we are? Somewhere in the real universe? Or inside one of the countless simulations? Mathematically, the answer is obvious. But the clues don't stop there, because sometimes our world glitches. People have reported birds frozen in the air, objects vanishing and reappearing, crowds walking the same loop of movements, strangers seen repeatedly in different cities. Even the laws of quantum mechanics behave like system shortcuts. Particles change when observed, as if the simulation only renders details when someone is looking. And the famous double-slit experiment shows something even stranger. Reality behaves differently depending on whether it is being recorded, like a video game optimizing graphics to save power. But glitches are not the only clue. There is something far more mysterious, consciousness, we can scan the brain. We can measure electrical signals. But no one can explain the experience inside your mind. The voice that thinks, 
wonders, dreams, and makes choices. Some scientists believe the brain does not create consciousness, but receives it, like a device connected to a bigger network. If so, your awareness, your thoughts, your identity might be stored outside this world, and your physical body is only the avatar. But then the question becomes, who is playing you? Some people believe the answer lies in ancient teachings. Texts from thousands of years ago describe life as an illusion, a dream, a temporary experience before returning to a greater reality. Cultures separated by oceans and centuries still spoke about the world as something impermanent, something unreal. Were they speaking metaphorically? Or did they know something we have forgotten? And then, there are the stories, people who experienced near-death moments, people who were clinically gone, yet returned with memories of what they saw. Some describe floating above their bodies. Others describe meeting beings made of light. Some witnessed their lives playing out like a movie. Some found themselves in a place beyond words. But the strange part? Across cultures, religions, languages, the descriptions are incredibly similar, like the same program running on different machines. Doctors dismiss these events as hallucinations. But how do you explain the cases where people described exact conversations, surgeries, or objects they should not have been able to see? It's as if, when the body shuts down, the awareness disconnects from the simulation and returns to the source. And that brings us to the biggest question of all. If we are simulated, who created us? A future human civilization? An alien intelligence? A digital architect? A being we might call a god? or perhaps something we cannot imagine. Some believe simulation theory does not contradict religion. It explains it. A creator outside our world, rules written into the system, a purpose embedded into existence, and an afterlife beyond the simulation. Maybe heaven is the next level. Maybe the soul is the player. Maybe the universe is the platform. But what does this mean for your life? If this world is simulated, does that make your struggles meaningless? Or does it mean they are part of a mission, a test? A story your consciousness chose to experience? Maybe every challenge matters because someone or something is watching, learning from you, growing through you. Or maybe the truth is more comforting. Maybe this world exists to teach you something, something only a temporary life could reveal. Love, loss, wonder, time. Experiences that require a beginning and an end. Maybe your actions matter more than you think. Maybe your thoughts ripple beyond this world. Maybe the universe is not a cold machine, but a place designed for your evolution. We cannot know for sure, but we do know this. The universe behaves like code. Consciousness remains a mystery. Glitches appear without explanation. Ancient teachings describe reality as an illusion, and real stories suggest something, someone, is waiting beyond the screen. So, are we living in a simulation? The evidence is compelling. The implications are enormous. And the truth may be stranger than anything we can imagine. Until we know, the question remains. And the mystery continues.